have at least nine months left, perhaps as much as 18. But the first doctor gave me from one to two years. I hope he's right. What are you going to do? Well, I have no family. Haven't taken a day off since law school. Guess I'll try to squeeze 30 years of living into one or two. I thought I'd never see you again. You know, I could never resist a race. <sighs> I should say I'm sorry. 
But I'm not. Neither am I. We took in San Pancrasio hasn't changed, has it? The reason for it hasn't. But maybe enough time has gone by. Maybe we don't have to run away from each other anymore. I'd like to believe that very much. I'll have to give it a try. Yes. Mademoiselle Langer, j'ai une réservation. Monsieur le portier. Des nuits entières, 
tu venais du berceau de ma joie Et déjà tu étais près de moi Oui, tu es parti Et pourtant la chanson n'est pas finie Car tu m'as laissé Un amour, un sourire, une fleur que rien n'a pu faner et j'aurai toujours un sourire, une fleur et l'amour de guetter ton retour. until next month. Do you recognize the title? I can trust my French, yes. The word would be goodbye. So you see, I haven't been completely idle since San Pancrazio. Thank you. Well, we have been serious long enough. What shall we toast? Nicole Langer. Success of her novel. And since what you do involves such a fantastic risk, I feel myself wanting to understand why you do it. Well, that's very interesting. My analyst has it tagged, I think. You see, my car symbolizes my mother, who totally dominated me as a child. Look here, you will excuse me for a moment, won't you? Oh, well, I... Oh! I'm amazed. How'd you ever know you'd find me here? Intuition. Nicole Langer, Hank Rogers. How oh, do you do? How do you... Nicole Langer, I knew I recognized you. I have your photograph. Oh, on the back of one of your books, I mean. Uh, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, I have it. The happiness of a sad time. <laughs> oh. oh, I've got it wrong, haven't I? Well, it's the sadness of a happy time, but I'm sure it doesn't make any difference. That's a natural mistake. Uh, these days it's such a thing for people to be happy only when they're sad. I assumed your book was about them. <laughs> but that's only proof that you haven't read it. Mm. No, I've really done it. <laughs> I'm not offended, Mr. Watchett. Uh, Hank, and you're gracious as well as beautiful. Um, you're here to watch the race? Yes. And I shall have to win. I was planning to anyway, since Paul came all this distance just to see me drive. But with you watching, I shall redoubt my efforts. Well, why don't you sit down and save your strength? Oh, thanks. Um, I've got a thing going back at the bar. I might get lucky. Pleasure, Mademoiselle. Paul, see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Close friend. And go with him? She writes books. A novelist. You liked her. You could tell from here. Is it because she's a novelist? 
because she's a success. You know, I believe you hit on something there. My analyst says it all, says it all stems from my childhood. You see, oh, but I told you that. Oh, no, please, continue. Well, you see, women absolutely terrify me. So what he thinks, I substituted the car, which I can control. Good night, Vaughn. I love you. Just learned. If it were possible to put into one word what life is all about, the word would be goodbye. Goodbye, Pam. Someone who knows, you'd never be able to forget, and you must forget. I had to call you to tell you what I I couldn't say before I left. I love you, Paul. to tell you. The goal of what we said this afternoon, we were kidding ourselves. Came here to tell you that. I'm leaving in the morning. Oh, Vaughn, no. Don't go. Not until we talk. You can here to see the race. Stay at least until then.
va gagner cet après-midi. On va travailler dur sur cette bagnole. Je crois bien. Hein. Oh, dis-le. right afterwards. I won't be able to join the victory celebration. Well, I'll be working on the car in the shop for a